Hey guys, good evening. Don't you to understand? It's broken down the right side. Man, that moment when you realized that you had forgotten about about a song or <laughs> that you had a long time without listening to a song. <laughs> Have you ever heard of a uh, little river band? Anybody? Little river band? No. 1978. Oh my God. It's a long time ago. Every other way, I can hardly wait. Hello, Adita. Good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Fine. Thank you, teacher. And you? I'm doing all right. I'm doing okay. okay. Where's Glorita? I'm working. She's working? Yes. It's Monday, Monday. Let's see, Monday topic. Well, tonight we have to continue with our topic about millennials, but tonight we've got to talk about stereotypes. Do you know what is in a stereotype? What is a stereotype? I have no clue, no clue. I'm clueless, I'm clueless. I have no idea. Okay, we'll see. Teacher, good evening. Hey, good evening, Wilfredo, how are you yeah. tonight? I'm uh, fine, what are you? I'm doing great. Really? Teacher, hey, I, I, right now I'm I'm in the church. I you're at, you're at church. Yes. yes. Okay. Okay. It, it's my friend, Padre, Moises Moran. Oh, good. Hello. Nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet nice you, Mr. Moran. Nice to meet you. Nice to <laughs> meet ah. you too. Come on, <laughs> with real. When I arrive at home, teacher, I'm going to get connection with my laptop. Okay, perfect. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Good. So we were saying, I see a cat tail. <laughs> Look at her. Yeah. She wants to be in the class too. Wait, is it he or she? I can't remember. I think it's all girls. <laughs> <laughs> it's she. <laughs> she, right? They both. Yes. 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 I, I are two, but uh, she and he. Oh, okay. The other guy. Yeah. The other one is a male. <laughs> Well, <laughs> I can only see her hair. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why cats I'm, do that. I'm sorry, but that's okay. She my cat, my cat does the lovely. same. <laughs> my cat does the same. She's she she just he just stands on the on the on the desk yeah. and starts touching the keyboard. Okay, guys, we're only seven. Where are the others? No mandado y recibido. Es. Ok. Uy. Hmm. There's people still missing. You know what? I'm just gonna give them some time uh, doing the attendance so they can join in. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Excellent. Ana Sermi Chévez. Present teacher. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Not here yet. 
Flor de María Carballo Garte. Gabriel Ignacio Lara. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Present. Thank you. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Working. Julia Patricia Vázquez Santos. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present. Thank Good you. Evening. Good evening. Ofelia Orellana Arce. That's all. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Good evening, present. Thank you. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Rose Elena, not here. Okay. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. No. Okay. Stephanie Elizabeth Ayala Pérez. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Good evening. Present. Good evening. Thank you. It says Hernandez okay. Hernandez. <laughs> Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. And Wilfredo Guardado Rivera, who just left the building and will be back soon. Oh my God, we're just 10 people. But anyways, let's get let's get started. Um so what is in a stereotype? What's a stereotype? What's a stereotype? What is it? Okay, let me give you a quick example of a stereotype. In El Salvador, until a few years back, if you had tattoos, you were a gang member, right? You were a gang member, you were a, a marero, right? Yeah. Especially if your tattoo was in your face, right? That's an stereotype. And I keep saying, and wait, I'm sorry. That's a stereotype, that's a stereotype. What else? Yeah. Dressing in pink. If you see a man dressing all in pink, What do you think? All in pink, not only the shirt. You think that he's gay, right? Mm. Um, no? When, when you think the English is difficult, maybe? That's an, that, that could be a stereotype too. Uh, thinking that English is difficult, that's more taboo than, no, no, that's not taboo. That's a stereotype. Mm, yeah, yeah. That could be it. But it's more like personal, you know, a characteristic of a group of individuals. Oh, <laughs> mechanics are nasty. You know, when they speak to women, to women, to women, right? They, they they throw piropos. How do you say piropo in English? I, I have no idea. I never used that word. Huh. Okay, but you got you got the point, right? Uh, what about brick brick builders, masons? What about masons, Ma maestro de obra, masons? Oh yes. <laughs> what? What's the stereotype? What's the stereotype about about masons? The the can I say the way? The what? The way they, the way that they tell us something. <laughs> the oh, way, the way again, the way they express the to women. Form? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The way, the way they, they talk to they women. Speak. Okay. Yeah. What What's another stereotype of 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 masons? They can drink uh, one liter of Coca-Cola. Oh, I, I like of Coca-Cola. I thought you were going to say alcohol. No, but it's <laughs> all, all the lunch they do. They always uh, buy the lunch and uh, share a, a one liter of Coca-Cola. They share a liter of Coca-Cola. Okay. 
with semitone. Yeah, this is the be the began. <laughs> okay. The teacher, the, everyone is a criminal if they live in a specific area, area. or yes, it's a stereotype. Just just say it. If you live in the Margaritas, <laughs> they they consider you a criminal. Yes, That's yes, true. That is true. Stereotype. It's an it's a stereotype. It's a stereotype. It's a stereotype. It's, it's a stereotype. A stereotype. Uh -huh. stereotype. Or the other, the women. For women, uh, uh huh. We we can't we can't be, we can drive well. That's that's true. That but that's true. It's a stereotype. Ah. It's, a stereotype. <laughs> it's a stereotype. Come on, but you know what? I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> no, I drive well the mechanic car teacher. Standard. Standard, standard car? Standard car, yeah. Okay. What about if it breaks? If it breaks in the middle of the street? I have a assistance <laughs> service. <laughs> that's that's not not common that is not common to have a woman a woman who knows about mechanics or at least at least to identify wait oh it's overheating it's overheating okay you see those kind of things right so stereotypes let's get split it for the first time in small groups you need to talk to your classmates about stereotypes what kind of stereotypes do we need um stereotypes about jobs what about the careers are there stereotypes on careers what stereotype can you think of a lawyer Wait. teacher the, <laughs> the the people say that the psychology read the mind no they say that oh well yeah the psychologists and psych psychiatrists are for crazy people right that's a stereotype so that that kind of stereotypes. Get me get me at least at least three popular stereotypes that you know. Three popular stereotypes that you know. Okay. Just talk to your classmates and come up with an answer. Nadie se queda aquí, por favor. No dejemos solos a los compañeros. Let's go. Hello, Nelson. Hi. Hi, Nelson. Hi. Hey, good evening, everybody. Uh, Hi, Patricia. Hi. Hey, I, maybe I know the one stereotypes for him for example the the mother in law are uh rich <laughs> what do you what do you what do you do Hello. Hi, Nelson. No. Uh, 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 and the task is it they mention a uh, stereotype, the different uh, narration. Stereotype. Stereotype. Stereotypes. Ah, stereotypes. Stereotype. 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 Stereot
<laughs> no. Come on, guys, pay attention. Stereotypes. Oh, sorry. Stereotypes. Stereotypes. Sí, Stereotypes. solo recuerden que no hay una E antes de la palabra, entonces es. Stereotypes. 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 Type stereotypes. Tiempo, type. No, type. 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 Stereotypes. Okay. Types. Okay. Stereotypes. Es como conjugar, como poner las dos palabras juntas, estéreo y tipos. Stereotypes. Stereotypes. Ok, good. Keep going. Talking about stereotypes. Stereotype. Yeah. Okay. In different generations. For example, the baby boomer, I, I, I read that the, uh, this generation is uh, addicted at the, at the work, the working, only time. Uh, all time is, is a work, work in the working, in the, in the day or the night. Is the generation the baby boomer is more more addicted at the world. Again, 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 and sample. Um, wow. Heavy. So, so when they want to to look, um, for example, lo que se la pican. <laughs> I don't know how I can say in English, but <laughs> sometimes they they look they look uh, I don't know, but many people and they always are right uh, esconden algo. I don't know how how I can say in English, but what about you, ladies? Will you talk about your stereotypes? I think that maybe men think that women can be a good leader. <laughs> Are not good leaders. Uh huh. Many, maybe men and some some men can think no women like or see or no because no we need a man. Or the <laughs> other, or the other, the the stereotype. I, uh, stereotype is that the women is not um good in the engineering career. The, oh, the women. The women. The oh, women yeah, women are, are not, women are, women are in good, uh, are in good, are in good studying in um, engineer career. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, maybe. It's a stereotype. Yeah. Yeah. I know. No. No, it's a real that the society, society we have a lot of the society. society. Yeah. Society. 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 We have a lot of stereotypes. For example, another let me yeah, another. Mm -hmm. yeah. Other, another thing. Let me so for mind. example, the old teenagers uh, that they study in a public school, uh, they they are dancer. Is that a stereotype? They're what? Yeah. They are, they're what? The teenagers. Teenagers uh -huh. they, are? They study in a public school. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They are gang, uh, gang, gang members. Gang members. It's a stereotype. Oh, yeah. That kids that go to public schools 
our gang members or our family of gang members. Yeah, that's a stereotype. Yeah. But not only not only here in El Salvador, it happens in the United States as well. As well? That's a, a common stereotype. Even nowadays, black people, most black people only go to, to public schools, you know, that's a stereotype. No, in the university is a big problem because the student prefer to, how do you say? Don't say that what is the, the, the origin of the... Well, uh, they they try to believe. avoid talking about yeah. their, their origins. Yeah, that's true. Exactly. To avoid being discriminated. Exactly. True, true, true. Okay. I like I like this group. Keep going, keep going. Yes, this is the <laughs> the com the filters common. No. Uh well actually uh sometimes the call centers or the people that work in call centers, uh they are many responsible because if they don't like the account, for example, they change to another one. Uh that's uh kind of um, repetitive way to do uh, to do the job and also work all every time in the call center rather than different accounts. Sorry, but I couldn't hear you well. <laughs> ah, I said it that uh, people in call centers say that uh, they are irresponsible because they go to the accounting because they if you if they don't like the account they get they keep stuff and then another one in a different call center and different account. That's that I hear. I don't know. I never <laughs> <laughs> those are just a stereotype stitch. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, also for the nurses, they say that they are uh, aggressive. Uh, well, uh, it's just that kind of true. <laughs> but could, uh, could we also depend on the quantity that many people, they are um, service at the same time. And so they're stressful very well, uh, very easy. They get they get stressed easily. They get stressed easily. They get stressed easily. Easily or very easily. Yeah. They get stressed very easily. Okay. We're almost done. I'm just I, I'm just missing one group and that's it. Okay. Keep it up. Keep it up. Taya. <laughs> Hi teacher. Hi. Hi. Hi teacher. We talk about cat stereotypes. Cat <laughs> stereotypes. Yes, because they have a cat. I really like the cat. And we're talking about that. I love cats. I like cats. Good. And dogs. The people think the people with cats is very well. Rare, rare, weird, weird. I, I like to say that people with cats are more independent because cats, they, cats are, are independent. Yes, teacher. How do you say? How do you say? A female, female or male? Is it a, I have I have two female cats. I have two female cats. Okay, I have two female cats. And in the in the other, how do you say? I have two males. Males. Okay. I have cats. They're males. Oh my god, she's looking at me. Look at her eye. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful. 
It's big. <laughs> he knows we're talking about him. He knows we're talking about her. About She's her. Beautiful. She's beautiful. Yeah. Okay, so you got the stereotypes. I'll ask you. I will ask you in the class. So let's go. Okay. Let's go back. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, lady. Thank you. I think the dog is barking at your cat, Carla. Okay. Are we back? No, we're, we're still missing some of you. This is an interesting topic. Okay, but let's start. Uh, who wants to start? What stereotypes did you discover in your group? Where for, for our work? In, in the stereotype is a baby boomer is addicted to the working. Wait, the addictive end. addictive to work? Yes, at the work. Is baby boomers, I, wait, wait, baby boomers are addictive to work. Yeah. Okay. And that's the generation before millennials, I think, right? It's before millennials. Okay. So how do you call someone addicted to work? Someone who is addicted to work. Workaholic. Excellent. Workaholic. You're a workaholic. Nice term. Okay. Workaholic. Uh-huh. What other stereotype did you find? Some of you were talking about cats. Teacher, hey, my classmate told me that I I I saw fun to Aguila Pin because I wear <laughs> okay. orange shirts. That's a but... stereotype, orange. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, dos veces perfecto. So you mean yes, you are? Yes, yeah, I okay. am dos veces perfecto, Pacisti Santaneco. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> me too. Me too. Uh, great to hear that. Okay. Okay. Me, teacher. Uh, really? People said that doctors are unfa unfaithful with unfaithful. their with their wives. Doctors. Yes. <laughs> Is that in a stereotype? I keep doing that. Is that is that a stereotype? What do you think? Or maybe I, it's true. <laughs> I have heard teacher about doctors that they they write so ugly. That because... their letter sucks. Yeah, doctors letter. No, no, no. Doctors writing. Right, sucks. writing sucks. Yeah, it sucks. Their writing is is so. I I should have been a doctor instead. Okay, wait, but is that true? Doctors are unfaithful? Well, to me, people say me that uh, don't date doctors. People that they are doctors don't date it. Because, yeah, they are unfaithful. They, they, they are cheaters. 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 That's that's the, the word. Okay, Ada, any other? And... Uh, is is there demand stereotypes teacher uh, for example the men not don't cry men don't cry hmm? men um, don't cry he's um valiant men are brave mm -hmm. 
Men are brave. Men are macho. Macho, okay. Uh, intelligent. Men are intelligent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's definitely a stereotype. There right. are many stereotypes about, about men. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, what about the others? Uh, Susana, Adriana, Gabriela, Wendy. The men, the men work in kitchen. Men must work. War, war and and now it's, uh, no no like war. They don't like to work. Yes. They like to be mantenido. How do you say mantenido? <laughs> oh, Superman! Yes. Superman! Yes. They, Superman. They, they Superman. like to be Superman. Yeah. Super. <laughs> Teacher, another stereotype. Uh, of the gen gender mm -hmm. another gender stereotype very good yes that that, uh, that women are housewife and that they should take care of their children mm. but it's false <sighs> well there are so many stereotypes right uh-huh i'm sorry I think other stereotype is the, the the single ladies. The single ladies when what about it? Oh, what happens when a woman remains yeah. single for too long, over thirty years, and she's still single? What's the stereotype? Ladies, ladies, I don't have a children teacher. Ladies, oh, I don't want, I don't want to have a children. I don't want to have children. I don't want to have children. Wait, you don't want to have children, Gladys? Ah, in the show now. Oh, you mean, you mean that the, the stereotype is that uh, women after 30 years and still single, they don't want to have children? Yes, yes. That's true. That would be stereotype. Teacher. Teacher. Oh, sorry. Uh huh. Uh, other stereotypes is the the man are I don't know is correct unfaithful. Unfaithful Unfaith cheater. Unfaithful. Yes, Both. the men men are unfaithful. Un unfaithful. Unfaithful. Uh, unfaithful. Okay. Another feature is the nationality. Uh, many people think that the French are generally associated with romanticism. Romanticism, yes. That is true. Uh, it's just like uh, Puerto Ricans or Dominicans. Dominicans are associated with Bachata, right? And all these rhythms, okay. salsa, yeah, cumbia. They, they're, good, they're good dancers. Tango? Okay, tango. what's the, the country, the tango country? Argentina. Argentina, right? Argentina. Yeah. Argentina. But Spanish as well, they, they dance a lot. Okay, so you got it. Those are stereotypes. Now, what are the most common stereotypes surrounding millennials? Now, don't get confused. We're talking about millennials. Who saw the video? Who, who watched um, Simon Sinek's video? Did you watch the video? Me, no teacher. Not me. <laughs> Not me, uh-huh. Did somebody, did anybody no. watch the video? No? No. Seriously, you didn't watch the video? That was no. an amazing conference. Yes. So basically, um, let me tell you briefly what Simon tries to describe there. Uh, he was talking first during the first five minutes that we watched about how millennials 
became addicted to social networks, right? The use of the cell phone that was and is still a huge addiction. Some people cannot live without their cell phones. I mean, it's crazy. And I say cell phones because some people have two cell phones. Can you imagine that? I I used to have two cell phones. I I couldn't manage myself. I couldn't manage myself with two cell phones. There was too much. But anyways. It's possible the one for the assignment in the job teacher. That's right. That was the, the other, purpose. The personal. That's right. But most people at work don't respect that. Because the job gives you a free cell phone just for work, but still your coworkers text you or, you know, on your personal phone. It's crazy. So he, he talks about this addiction, how it has, there has been an evolution on, on mankind with the cell phone. Because if you don't know, if you don't know the purpose of the guy Listen to this. The guy who invented the idea of the cell phone, his first purpose was to have a chip in your head to be able to connect to a network. And we are very close. Yeah. What's the closest we have reached is the doodles the Google Doodles, right? Where you can actually see, you know, the social media on the Googles and you can record or be talking to someone and watching the, the picture on your glasses is crazy. But going back to the point, millennials, we cannot work without our cell phones. We cannot live without our cell phones. He, he, sorry, the millennials, were born with a cell phone. They don't know what is the life is without a cell phone or, we, we, or, or internet. We. Uh, we, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we're millennials. Let's face it. Let's face it. Do you understand that term? Do you understand that term? Let's face it. Yeah. Enfrentémoslo, right? Yeah. We, we, uh, we, are, <laughs> we were born in these years and we were uh, raised with the cell phone, globalization and all that. Now he talks about something very, a few, a few very important points. And one of them is instant gratification. Instant gratification. Who remembers that? We, we, he kind of talked about that. Instant gratification. What is it? What is instant gratification? <laughs> okay, let, let me give you an example, okay? Um, Gabriela, could you pronounce this word Okay. Uh, skittle. Okay. Good. Good. Very good. No, you say schedule. Schedule. Mm, now, one once again. Schedule. Schedule. Mm, without the e at the beginning. Schedule. Schedule. Perfect, great job, everybody. Good job, Gabriela. And Gabriela feels like, oh my God, <laughs> right? Something different. Gabriela, perdóneme, pero le voy a hablar en inglés que feo pronuncia Gabriela. Right? Lo pues. <laughs> Good. Sí, si te dan gratificación instantánea, es como, wow, 
right? And then, thank you, Gabriela. <laughs> it was just an example. It's just an example. But what happens when you are given instant gratification? Something gets activated on your brain and that is called dopamine. You know what's dopamine, right? The, yeah. um, the hormona. <laughs> it's a drug. It's a drug. Yeah, it's a drug. It's a hormone, true. It is a hormone, true. What happens when you fall in love, Adriana? You, what happens when you when you fall in love, when you're like, oh my God. <laughs> it's very cool, teacher. Feels good, right? I mean, yes. you, you, you float. Literally, you float, right? You feel something in your stomach. You feel happy all the time. And that you is- You feel on the clouds. What is it? You feel in the nervous, clouds. Teacher. What? what is Nervous. You feel nervous to see that person. How do you feel, women, yeah. when they when they give you flowers? Okay. Oh. Right? That feeling. That's the dopamine. That's the dopamine. Cero, serotonin, cero, serotonina. Serotonina. Cero, serotonina, serotonina, I guess. Serotonin. It's very similar. Yeah, th those words are very similar in English and Spanish. It's the hormone of the, the happy uh, mood. Really? Yeah. yeah. So It's the best English. <laughs> serotonin. Serotonin. Let me see the pronunciation. Serotonin. Serotonin. Okay. That's the word. So, yeah different things happen with your brain. When when you're a millennial, another thing that happens is that you want constant feedback. It's like we were raised as kids, as millennials, expecting to be corrected. Listen, expecting to be corrected. My kids, <laughs> They don't want to be corrected. My kids think they know the answer to every problem. Be careful, that, that's a huge mistake. At first, at first, they think that every video they watch on TV, I mean, on the YouTube or whatever, is true. And that's 10 years. Some people, um, you know, are going out of the reality. And this is what Simon talks about on the video. He says that um, some millennials were or are uh, losing the ability of socializing with others. For example, us, let's talk about this group. We are virtually connected, but so far, so far, Nobody has ever texted the teacher or texted another classmate and say, hey, Carla, how are you today? Hi, Rosalyn, I'm doing great. There. Why? <laughs> okay, what's the first thing that comes to your mind when you think about your classmates? Do you want to text them? Mm -hmm. Maybe we don't have the, how can I say? We don't have enough, enough trust. We don't to trust ourselves? To yeah, to be, begin, begin a conversation between my partner. <laughs> to say hello. <laughs> yes, how was your day? Really? Who have you been? You have been with Carla a long time. Yeah, but I never, once I think, but uh, because we have a, a homework. Because you, not, you have homework, uh-huh. Yeah, but, but no, but no for 
only to say hello, good morning, have a nice day. Okay. But yeah. like classes, teacher, this is a disadvantage because when when you compare with the presential classes, with live there classes, are yeah. more opportunities to share with the your, with the with your classmates. With the classmates, yes. Okay, but why does that happen? What's the stereotype? What is the stereotype uh, blocking you from building a relationship with your classmates? Maybe the the fact the, the fact thinking that is a a virtual meeting. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> There's no need. So one one stereotype is eh, what for? What oh, yeah. for? That that's what you say, right? What for? Yeah. We're, we're virtually. We, for, we forgot that we are human. We need oh, each God. other. Okay. What else? What's the other stereotype? Now let's talk about: Are there positive stereotypes? Are there positive stereotypes? Yes. Continuing with the example of the classmates, and as I mean, what would be a example, positive? One stereotype is um, everybody can do all things. You mean working as a team? Yeah. Yeah, that could be it's a, a good, It's a good stereotype because it's optimist. It's an optimist stereotype, uh-huh. It's not enough. Only the aptitudes you require to work for to get the goal. Uh -huh. So there is no willingness. Willingness. There's no willingness to, to okay. give the first step, to take the first step. Exactly. Right. And right. you know what? If you you already saw this um, this topic, if you would have done that, if you have if you would have done that, if you would have if you would have done that, if you would have done that, find out if you would have done that, if you would have done that from basic one, basic two, basic three. If you would have, if you would have, if you would have built a friendship with your classmates from the basic levels, you would still be together. Right? No matter what, no matter what teacher, no matter what other classmates, if there was a friendship, a strong friendship in the classes, it will be a different story, yeah. don't you think? Support group. <laughs> Supporting the others, right? Calling Roselena. Hey, Roselena, you didn't show up to the class yesterday. Are you okay? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Thank you for calling. I know. Will you be there today? Okay. Yeah, perfect. Good. Here's a copy of the class. Okay. What else? What else? So. Continuing, uh, so what was I saying about millennials? Uh, this guy talks about achieving, achieving. We are addictives. We're addicted. We are addicts. That's the word. We are addicts to goal achievement in such a way, in such a way that if we don't achieve something, Man, we got depressed. We feel like it's the end of the world. I didn't, I, I couldn't do the presentation for my work. Uh, can anybody tell me an experience where you have felt depressed, disappointed of yourself at work? Okay. Julia? Yes. Have you ever felt disappointed at work? Yes. Uh, 
Well, about my about my job. Mm -hmm. No, no, not about your job, but a situation where you couldn't accomplish a task in your job and you felt like, man, I suck. <laughs> I'm like, oh, damn it. Yes. Uh, actually, the last month we got a, a project that we had to do a lot of uh, applications and we couldn't finish, but, but it wasn't just me. Uh, it was me and my, my friend. We didn't finish the, the project because we had uh, a lot of things to do. And it was the project and the other things that we have to do. So we get like uh, burnt out and we, fin and we didn't finish uh, the project. But at the end, uh, the la last week, the client uh, gave us the opportunity to finish the project uh, this week. So it, it was disappointed at the first, okay. but now we are like uh, having a, a, a good opportunity again. Okay, good job. Thank you. Disappointed at the first. Let me correct this sentence, Julia. It was disappointed at the first. So it was disappointing at the beginning. At the beginning. It was disappointed at the beginning. But then, yep. Good job, good job. Okay, anybody else? One more experience. Let me think about a situation where I felt. In my case, teacher, for um, I need to to get the the specific uh, credential for to to get the other level of the promotion in my job. And you need it. I need it. Yeah. Okay. I need it and I am working on that, but in this moment I I feel frustrated in specific time because um in if I I need to complete the the other career for to get the other level in my job. Hmm. For yeah. or to? You just said for. I need to complete. Yeah, it's just that you said for to get. No, to com to get. Uh huh. To get. I need to to. I, um, no, no, no. You no. In this I last forgot. sentence, it's just that <laughs> I you. I forgot my. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry, but it's to get. Don't forget to verb for noun. To get for yes. noun. Okay. Hey, Anna, send me. Repeat. I needed a get a. I needed. I needed. Get up. I needed to get up. I needed get up. <laughs> no, again. I needed to get up. I mean. I closer. needed. I needed to get up. I needed get up. I need it. I need it. True. 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 Ru, ru, ru. Ru. <laughs> Get a. Get a. Credential. Credential. Okay. I needed to get a credential. I needed to get a credential. There you go. I needed to get a credential. I needed yeah. to get a credential. But I am working. To, to be promoted, to be promoted, to be promoted. Yes. Hey, yes. <laughs> if you practice this, you will do you will do good. Remember, guys, it's just repetition, repetition, one sentence and then repeat it, repeat it, repeat it. I like that. Very good. Wow. So you're working to to get your credential. Now, question, Anna send me. Is there anybody else competing with you? to get that credential? 
Mm, in this moment, not, teacher, because the other... So you have the advantage. Yes, this is advantage. Yes. So don't worry. Don't get frustrated. Yeah, it, only the specific week, teacher, where mm -hmm. the work is hard, harder. When or when my oh I was about to tell you that when my workload when I just my... wrote it here. Um, we had too much work to do. That's one option. Yes. We had too when much have, work to do. Yes. When I have too much to do. When, yes. when I have too much work to do. Um, our workload had been increased. You can use yeah. workload. Or, workload. Yes. A workload increase and mm -hmm. the specific weekend uh, oh, because in, during the weekend I I take my classes mm, and okay. it's in the weekend but uh, yes it's good for me but don't worry you will feel amazing whenever you finish that whenever you achieve that certification and congratulations for not stopping don't say you know, no, it's stopping. Not, not while, stopping. while uh, there is a there is life, teacher. Well, we have. Well, we are alive. Well, we are alive. We are alive. Yes, we are, we are alive. I am working, working, working for me. In my, in my that's good. That's good. Work. Okay, so good. That that's the point. If you achieve something, you feel awesome. If you don't reach that goal. You get depressed. And this is the problem with millennials. We tend to get depressed. We, we put all of our effort in one thing at a time. But at the same time, we want everything now. We want everything right now. You don't want to work cleaning the office. You, on your first job, on your first job, you don't want to be, I don't know, taking calls as a receptionist, right? Being the secretary of the boss. No, you want to be the boss. You want the highest position on your first job. So you want the money right now. Is that true? Yes, that's common. When you are young, when you are young, you feel you can control the world. You you feel that you have the power, and the you know. expectative teacher of me when when I was uh, starting, uh, I was uh, studying. Studying, uh huh. I, I was studying at the university. At the university, uh -huh. and the job uh, is waiting for me. <laughs> the job was waiting for you. The job and, was waiting for me. It's, it not, it's not true, teacher, because in the in the real in reality. In the reality. In reality. In reality. Yeah. It is hard. It's hard to get a job. To find the job. Yes. It's hard to get a job. There's a, a phrase that's not how the real world works that's not how the real world works that's not how the real world works world works world works it's an exercise so you can practice okay that's not how the real world works the real world works differently than what we imagine okay let me do the attendance and then we go with a presentation to talk about different Stereotypes for millennials. Let's see. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present. Thank you. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Thank you. Ana Sermichedes. Present teacher. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. I'm here today. Flor de Maria Carballo Ugarte. He's not here again. Gabriel Ignacio Lara. Mm -hmm. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Present. Thank you. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. 
Thank you. Julia Patricia Vázquez Santos. Present. Thank you. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Yeah. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present, teacher. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here, teacher. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Good evening, present. Thank you. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Present. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Stephanie Elizabeth Ayala Pérez. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present teacher. Thank you. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Thank you. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present. And Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. He is invisible right now. Okay, so <laughs> let's continue. Well, stereotypes, stereotypes. So we all agree that a stereotype is just a characteristic that we assign to a person or a specific group of people, right? Right? So it's a characteristic that we assign to a specific, I mean, to a person or to a specific group of people. You know, uh, one of my kids, one of my kids is really hyper. He has TDA, which is very common nowadays to have TDA, a deficit of attention, you know, and hyperness combined. You cannot pay attention to anything. You cannot be calm for more than a minute and a half. So that's my son. And that's the way they, they have, that, that's the tag. And that's the point. A stereotype is a tag. You know what is a tag? Una viñeta, right? That they put you, I mean, at school, especially. So where are millennials? We said yesterday is a noun, by the way. Be careful. Uh, it's a noun, not a verb. Um, it's people from 18 to 34 years young, you know. Otherwise, uh, they are called Gen Y, right? So the Y generation. Now, they, we can be difficult or they can be difficult, a difficult group to understand. And in order to understand this, this group, we were talking yesterday about their values. Um, what do they want? What do they value? And what do they need? <laughs> Does that sound the same? Want, value, and need. Okay. You may want something, but you may not need it. Okay. And if you have it, you may value it. You know, you may feel value for it. So let me uh, help you figure this out. Figure it out. Repeat. Figure it out. Figure it out. <laughs> figure it out. Figure it out. Figure it out. Yeah, figure it out. Carla, bring me the reports for the next semester. I don't know how to do it, boss. Okay, go ahead and figure it out, Carla. Figure it out. So what is the meaning of figure it out? What's meaning figure it out, teacher? You? <laughs> you got it. Resolve. Find to find the blue answer or the <laughs> solution? To find the answer, to find the solution, to find the possible way of doing things, right? Figure it out. Um, again, Carla, did, did we pay an assembly? Did, did we deposit the money to an assembly? No, I don't know, boss. Okay, can you figure it out, please? Can you go ahead and figure it out. Yeah, sure. Let me let me find out. That's a synonym. Let me find out. Okay. Let's put the power in your hands. We'll give you strategies. Another word: strategies. 
strategies. Strategy, strategies, strategies to attract millennials and increase productivity. Now, the following presentation has to do with tomorrow's topic as well. Um, how they influence the workplace. And the day after tomorrow, we need to talk about characteristics, um, tips for managers to lead with millennials efficiently. So this is this presentation is full of information. In, and this, this came out, this whole topic came out because millennials have evolved the workspace, okay? In El Salvador, only in El Salvador, I can tell you, the payroll of El Seguro Social, okay? The payroll of El Is in 2003 was full, was full and plain on the minimum salary, right? The minimum wage. But then in 2003, call centers came to El Salvador. And call centers, call centers started paying the double, double the minimum wage in El Salvador. Six hundred dollars, six fifty. So, what happened with the payroll of El Seguro Social? It went. Oh my God, a lot of money. Starting that way, now millennials made a change on the payroll in El Seguro. They made a change in the way of working because. Back in the days in 2005, did you walk around Salvador del Mundo in 2005, 2007? Yes. Do you remember seeing this guy with a lot of tattoos and with with his hair with a lot of oops, where about? Yes, teacher. Yeah, with how do you call this thing? With hell, you know, gel on his on his head, piercings. And he he was working in the call center. Oh my god. It was a scandal, right? What happened? What happened I there? That I had opportunity to work for one year and for for Walmart in the in the building Telefonica. Mm -hmm. the telephonic building. Mm -hmm. Telephonica building. And the first call centers company. In the yeah, it was Atento. Performance. Yeah. Atento. Mm -hmm. Performance and teleperformance okay. is the other. Yeah. yeah. And the look of the employees. Uh, more informal informal yes more informal totally informal, very right? very informal very very informal but it look the the, the informal but uh, informal in during the the break uh, much smoking really smoking yeah smoking oh yeah and that's a stereotype call centers you know are full of stereotypes how a call center an agent look like how they look like you know in general if you see someone oh a common stereotype if they is that they will be wearing their badges you know you know what is a badge right they're lanyards they could they are called lanyards and then you have the badge to access the building so these people typically it's not a stereotype, it's reality. When they first got a call center job, you will see them in the bus, in the bus speaking in English, wearing the lanyard, you know, in the bus, that, that's crazy. So those are stereotypes, those are things that they actually do. Uh, what we know, can somebody help me reading? Uh, 
Okay, no volunteering. Walter Mauricio, wake up. Excuse me, teacher. Excuse me. <laughs> Can you help us reading the first check mark? Okay. And millennials have different preference that their baby. And boomer predecessors. Okay, let's do it together. Millennials have different preferences. Uh -huh. Millennials have different preferences. Preferences, the stress is here. Uh -huh. Then their baby boomer. Baby boomer. Predecessors. Predecessors. Again, millennials have different preferences than their baby boomer predecessors. Walter, try it again. My God, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> try it. Come on. How do you say it? Boomer. <laughs> I don't know. Baby boomer. Yes. Baby boomer predecessors. Follow, follow the stress. Follow the stress, Walter. I don't Walter. know, teacher. <laughs> I no, don't understand. No, no, no. Repeat. Read again. Ah, okay. Mille. Mille. Go ahead. Millennia had different preferences that their baby boomer predecessor. Prede. Pre, prede. Cessors. Cessors. Predecessors. 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 There you go, predecessors. Okay, and here you say then there, then, then there. Then there. Then, then there. Then their baby boomer predecessors. So millennials have different preferences than their baby boomer predecessors. Hmm, that's what we found out. Next, number two. Roselena, you're so quiet tonight. Are you lonesome tonight? It's Monday. Day, yes, <laughs> I'm going to read. Please. <laughs> okay. They want more social interaction and team collaboration in the workplace. In the workplace, they want more social interaction, 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 interaction. Inter interaction. Interaction. And no interaction. interaction. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, you can say interaction. It sounds better. Interaction okay. and team collaboration. Collaboration in the workplace so yeah it's true right uh, we want more interaction with other people teamwork as anna Selmi was saying that's very important for us carlita so number three they're more more by cost marketing and less by monetary reward hmm. thank you they're motivated more by cost marketing and less by monetary reward. What do you think? Gabriela? Why me, teacher? I think it depends the person because some, someone, uh, it's possible that really need the money, so. Uh, the main motivations not will be the marketing what won't be uh, it won't be the marketing hmm. but what does this refer to when you feel more motiv more motivated by cost marketing hmm. and that's my money it's just like being recognized right just like being famous let's say Right? Yeah. It's just like being more famous in your social networks, let's say, or in your social environment. Most importantly, they're who your company needs to survive and grow. This is going um, to managers. So here are five things you should probably understand. Let's understand. And these, again, are like some sort of stereotypes that we need to understand about uh, millennials. Five things we should probably understand. Number one, Rosalina. 
Okay. Millennials seek per affirmation and feedback. A lot of it. <laughs> a lot of it. A lot of it. A lot of it. <laughs> Remember, yeah, it goes at the end, so it's at uh, a lot of it. Yes. A lot of it. Yeah, millennials seek peer affirmation and feedback. Julia, what do you think? We talked about this before. Yeah, actually, um, it's true <laughs> because uh, we were raised uh, with these uh, values and that our fathers are, or our, sorry, our parents um, give us a lot of feedback. So now we are like uh, expecting that to receive the same. And, and yes, just that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, excellent. That's regarding the feedback. What about the affirmation? He mentioned something, Simon Sinek mentioned something on the video about how, and this is, man, this is so psychological. Wendy, where are you? This is so psychological. He talks about a stage in humans, which is being a teenager. Historically, historically for thousands of years, I will say, when you become a teenager, you are allowed to drink, to go to the pub, you know, to the taverns and drink alcohol, right? So the common thing was, oh, come on, let's go drink. Right? So you used to fit. You wanted affirmation from your teenagers. But now, what affirmation are you looking for? This is very interesting. The affirmation that you want is the likes on Facebook, the likes on Twitter, or on Instagram? You want to be influencers, teachers, TikTokers. You got. You have to be an influencer. If you are not an influencer, you die. I mean, your word is a lie. That that's the way kids see it nowadays. If you if they're millennials, so look at this. Think Twitter size. Um, Patricia, will you help us think Twitter size? Okay. Okay. Um, think try the size size of advice. Ideas, ideas. <laughs> Pieces Mill of advice. Okay. Millennials, what a small bit of of feedback at a time. So even a uh, one to two sentence email is enough sometimes. Excellent. Good. Okay, so let's go first with the pronunciation, then we go with the meaning. Think Twitter size, pieces of advice. Millennials want small bits of feedback at a time, at a time. So even a one to two sentence email is enough sometimes. You know what, let me start doing something so you can check the video again. I'm gonna read it again. A large speech is not effective. A large speech may not be effective because, and I started this at the OIT, we don't like to read. That is why Twitter is so popular among, among millennials, because we don't like to read a lot, you know. No, we prefer, we love a short video, right? A short two lines, you know. And that's why TikTok is so famous among millennials. They're short videos, funny videos. Even now that you can record up to three minutes on TikTok, Eh, too long, unless it is a story. <laughs> you see, it's crazy. That's the way we think. So just a simple email saying, hey, great job. That's it. Instant gratification. Also, 
they also gravitate towards mentorship. What is mentorship? Can somebody tell me, define for me, what is mentorship? Similar mentoring. Excellent. Define a little bit more, Sandra. Good job. Mentor, mentoring. Coach, coaches. Yeah, to be coached. So they also gravitate towards in the direction of. Remember towards mean to the front, right? In the direction of mentorship. We need mentorship. That is true. In fact, okay. In fact, I need a volunteer. Me, teacher. Thank you. Five percent. Okay. In fact. Uh, 35 percent of employees who don't receive regular mentoring plan to look for another job within 12 within uh, months. 12 within 12, uh, 12 months. months months excellent okay let's do this together let's see in fact, 35% of employees who don't receive, receive regular mentoring plan to look for another job, job within, within, cada vez que tenemos una TH junta es una feta, within 12, you know, month. Months, months, months. Okay, within 12 months. Mm. What do you think, Adriana? What do you think, guys? If you don't you don't receive mentoring, coaching, feedback, what happens? Hmm. 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 This is another stereotype for millennials at work. If they don't receive the feedback related to their job, it's possible that in the future, in the next year, they, um, they will um, find the other job. They look. For, they will look for. Look, look. Yes, look the other job. For another job, but why? Why do you think that happens? And tell me. And is that true? Yes, it's true. Teacher, because is now, I believe that it's very important. The the uh, feedback, but the feedback on it, on it. Honest feedback. Honest feedback. Honest Honest feedback. feedback. Mm -hmm. yeah. To avoid the employee feeling diminished, right? I'm sorry, teacher, the, the last one. They they it is necessary to provide feedback for the employees to the employees. Um mm -hmm. to avoid them feeling diminished. When you when you feel diminished, do you remember Pedro Picapiedra going to to the boss, you know, and the boss used to yell at him, and every time the boss, uh, Mr. Roca, I can't remember his name, he used to uh, yell. Shrink. What? Yeah. yeah. Shrink. He used to shrink a little bit more. Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> 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 Oh my God. So that's feeling diminished, achicado, right? And that's the way you feel. Honestly, in my job, in my call center job, if I don't get a weekly feedback, I feel like, hmm, am I doing right? How am I doing? I don't know how am I, how am I doing. They need to tell me how are my numbers. And why is it important? Because I have a bonus. If I don't accomplish the goal, I don't get the $75. Mm -hmm. 
which is a bonus on top of my salary. So, you know, feels weird. And, but I'm, I don't think about <laughs> looking for another job. I mean, I'm too old. I'm too old now, 40. Okay, now what is mentorship? The mentorship can work both ways too. I volunteer to read this. Mentorship can work both ways too. Me? Hey, Sandra, go. The mentorship can work both ways too. The two millennials teach your baby boomers a team or two some companies even implement reverse mentoring in which a new employee teaches a senior employee a helpful skill through this reverse exchange. New employees gain value, valuable. Gain valuable. Gain valuable relationship with with upper management. Relationships they they know they can depend on the future in the ever near future guidance. The future if they ever need further guidance. Good job, Sandra. <laughs> yes, good job. Estoy seguro que estas palabras no usualmente no las lee. La mayoría, eh? la mayoría casi no leemos estas palabras usualmente. So let's see. Uh, good job, actually. Um, I didn't get too much feedback. Skill, skill. So this word through is not a word. I'm sorry. It's a preposition. It is a preposition through this reverse exchange. What is the reverse exchange? Letting your millennials teach your baby boomers. Hmm? And, and this is the example that I explained you. Back in 2003, I was, 1982, hold on. I was 22 years old. I was 22 and I started uh, teaching a production line of old ladies, you know, old ladies, like 35, 40 years old. And I was teaching them something. Man, that was crazy. But I did it. That was good. And that's reverse exchange. So new employees gain valuable. Oh, new words. Gain valuable. Valua, valuable. Valuable. Valua, lua, valuable. Gain valuable relationships. Relationships with upper management. What is upper management? Somebody. <laughs> upper management relationships, they know they can depend on, depend on in the future if they ever need further guidance. So in other words, a millennial knows, and this is just confidence when you feel confidence and you know when you're confident with yourself about yourself um is better than being competent okay bien eh, me voy a tener acá un segundo para chequear el comprehension porque todos están calladitos no sé si estamos comprendiendo un poco el temita está muy complicado está fregado eso Come on. So right now we're talking about mentorship. Estamos hablando de la capacidad de, de un millennial de, de, de dos caras, ¿eh? Enseñar o buscar consejo. So, ¿qué hemos comprendido? Fíjate que me vino el armor feo y me fui con un ratito, ticha. Lo siento. Just ladies, oh my God. I only see ladies right now interacting. All the guys, we lost them. Wilfredo is at the tienda, I think. Walter's camera is off, Nelson too. Okay. 
Bueno, espero que se pongan atención porque al final de la clase vamos a hacer un examen corto de 20 preguntas en los últimos 20 minutos de la clase, ¿ok? Y esa es su graduación de este módulo. I wish. Ok. Good, let's continue then. So, this is very important. Uh, mentorship can work both ways. You can teach uh, baby boomers or somebody uh, now, else in a company. What? Now, the millennials are the parents of the new generation. I know. <laughs> of the Z generation, not the Y, of the Z generation. It's crazy. I know it's generation is the other. Oh my god. I don't know how the war is gonna end, but anyways. Okay, so going back, I like this last sentence. Is this last sentence is upper management? Okay, so through this reverse exchange, new employees gain valuable relationships with upper management relationships they know they can depend on in the future if they ever need further guidance. In other words, do you remember back in the days on your first jobs where if you had a question, you had to ask to your immediate superior, like your supervisor or your boss, your immediate boss, right? You couldn't jump the chain of command right? You couldn't go to the director or the general manager, right? Do you remember? Yes. So now, now there's an open door policy. Have you heard of that? La política de puertas abiertas? Okay. No. Millennials. <laughs> Millennials came with the what open <laughs> door policy. Open door. <laughs> yeah, they they easily, easily mm -hmm. can I say easily? Yeah. Yeah, they easily uh, can oh my god, can can mm -hmm. uh, go to the office of the director and tell how they feel or, or what's happened. I don't know. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's yeah. right. We, without, you know, like going over their superior, right? Their supervisor. That's true. Okay. Millennials also rely heavily on review sites. This is what we were talking about yesterday with uh, everybody. Julia said, you know, yeah, as I, I've been through websites trying to understand how to take care of my baby. Any questions? You know, 40 7% of glass door visitors are in the 18 to 34 age range. Uh, what is glass door? No idea? It's a door. No, it's a store. It's a store in the States. <laughs> but they, they, sell, they sell mainly online products. That's that's Glassdoor or used to be Glassdoor, I think. I don't know if it is still exist. Okay. And again, we continue with the stereotypes. Uh, let's see, fifty-one percent of millennials trust user-generated content reviews compared to only thirty-four percent of baby boomers. Can somebody tell me what do you do when you want to buy something online? What is one of the things that you must do if you're buying something online? The first, um, the, the first yes. thing, the first thing is recognize the site is is not fake. Good, good. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a trusted uh, a trusted website. Yeah, a trusted website. Mm -hmm. The first thing. Mm -hmm. Then the the friendly that is the application is if you don't if you move easily if you feel the the information easily if it's not boring it's not oh my god many things in the other you to buy something the online you check the, mm -hmm. the 
Maybe Sorry. The good comment. The good comment? No good comments about that. About the product, right? About the product. It's not just because the color is green, because it looks amazing. <laughs> and let's say there's a famous a famous lamp in Amazon with the shape of the moon, you know? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> it was amazing. But when you see yes. the size, you, when you compare the sizes, like this is like very small. Oh my, like, oh my God, no, <laughs> Renny. So you have to take care, be careful with that, right? And so it says, but why does this happen? It's because baby boomers or previous generation, they didn't have internet. They didn't have a way to to check the the reviews, and they there were not too many competitors for one single product in the market. Think about it for a second. Sorry. Max is barking like crazy. So, okay. So again, back in our previous generation, pre prior to millennials, um, they didn't have internet to check the reviews of products. And there were not too many competitors for one single product. So I'm going to throw a question for you and we're going to work on this specific part. Can we compare millennials to baby boomers? Things they had that millennials had. Just the way I did it right now. Think about it. If you wanted to buy something, what criteria did you use? For example, baby boomers. What was a product that was very popular among baby boomers? <laughs> exactly, Kellogg's. That's right. Were there many brands? Many brands for Kellogg's? No, right? So, how did they know that Kellogg's was good? Because was the unique. <laughs> because it was unique. <laughs> Huh. Yeah. Okay, an easier example. Coca-Cola, Pepsi, Dr. Pepper. Let me think about it. I don't think Cola Champagne. Yeah, Cola Champagne was already there. I mean, but what was the review of the products back then? How did, did you choose between a Coca-Cola and a Pepsi? I am prefer Coca-Cola. Because you prefer Coca-Cola. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Coke. You prefer Coke instead of Pepsi. It depends on the taste. Because it depends on the taste. A lot of demand for Coca-Cola, for the Coke. But how did you know? And this is the point. This is the point, Anasami. Mean, I'm sorry if I didn't have you on intermediate with the marketing strategies. Remember those topics on intermediate? This was very important to have uh, cases, you know, to build cases. I hope you did it. But the point is, uh, back then, there, were, there was no uh, influence. You were not influenced by anything else than the newspaper. Okay, baby boomers were influenced by the newspaper because there were no TVs. Only a few people had TVs from baby boomers and it was black and white. So <laughs> commercials were not so, so good, you know? <laughs> that was back in the day. So. How were they influenced? There were just two basic ways. The first one was the newspaper and the second one, even bigger, 
mouth to mouth publicity. Can you translate mouth to mouth publicity? Yes, the experience that the other people have with the product. The opinion, yeah, other people's. OPP. You, you done with OPP? Mm. No? No, what's OPP? You done with OPP? Yeah, you know me. <laughs> done with OPP. Yeah, you know me. No. Other person's perspective. <laughs> oh, what? OPP, other people or other person's per perspective. So, yeah, if you understand that, it's true, Rosalina. Yeah, mouth to mouth publicity works that way. Hey, Julia, have you tried the Popeye chocolates? No, I haven't. <laughs> you haven't? <gasps> you have to try them. They're delicious. Oh, oh my God, I miss that. You have no idea how much I miss Popeye's chocolates. I used to buy one for one colon. Yes. <laughs> and Gabriela Gabriel is like, amazing. what is a colon? <laughs> <laughs> what is Popeye chocolate? <laughs> what is Popeye chocolate? No, right. you don't remember, teacher, but I like it. No, you're very young. Uh, Super chicle, super cherry. <laughs> super chic? Super chicle, super cherry. Super no? cherry Don't super remember? Cherry. What's a, a gum? That, yeah, very small, right? That those were like uh, cherry. cinnamon, cinnamon. Yeah. It was cherry, French but. Flavor cherry. Uh huh. I don't remember. Right. Yeah. By Adams, but behind by you, Adams. Yeah, by the brand Adam. Man, Adam's yeah. chiclets, chiclets. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. We're it gonna cry. Okay, so so <laughs> you got the point, right? <laughs> so that's the way you were influenced before marketing strategies, before TV, before social network. What marketing strategies? It's just tell everybody. <laughs> and something very nice promotions you remember coca-cola promotions the toys all that right the christmas the christmas beers 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 beer beer bears oh the bears? christmas bears not beers yeah, the, no yeah the christmas yeah, pronunciation bears. bears no beer no bear <laughs> <laughs> no beers, me no bear. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the Christmas bears, the white bears. That was very popular from Coca-Cola. So you got my point. Um hmm. let's see, let's see, let's see. So let's set the point of discussion here. And this is another stereotype, but it's true because what we're of warning right now, what we're talking about is the difference between millennials and baby boomers. What kinds it, of influence did they have, Carla? Yes, teacher, but I read that between baby boomers and millennia are the X generation. That is the point. That is correct. Now the X generation is like this transition with technology. We were the kids connected to the matrix. <laughs> like that, just like that. We were growing and the internet and the computers were growing, was growing. I still remember yeah. LAN connection. Yeah, and and somebody, man, somebody's, use, somebody's uh, using the, the, the thing. Yeah, I, uh, I, I need MS2. to the phone. <laughs> somebody's using the phone. Yeah, Carla, MS2. Oh, my God, that was a headache. I remember that blue screen. <laughs> the blue screen, of course, yes. Okay, so really quick, just five, ten minutes. What is the difference? That generational gap is what we have to determine what kind of stereotypes we had. For example, uh, giving an example of a product, why did you prefer 
a product when you were a kid. We're all, all adults right now. So remember a product, a sentimental product is called a sentimental product. Let me give you an example really quick. Lidl. Oh. Don't talk, don't talk. Just tell in your class, in your breakout room. Why were you in love with Lidl? And so on, and other products. Tic Tac, I mean, come on. <laughs> Tic Tac. Guys, please accept the invitation. Go to your groups. In this, in this C, C generation, I remember the uh, uh, some someone in the products, for for example, the cigarette Delta is is sentimental. Is sentimental. Music, music, remember, <laughs> romantic, our generation. Yeah, a different kind of song. Other, other, Epoca, how do you say epoca? Other times. Other time? Mm -hmm. Otro tiempo de time, okay. Mm -hmm. Other times. Other time. Back in the days, en aquel entonces, en aquellos tiempos, back in the days. Back in the day. Back in the days. End the day, okay. Gabriela, you are a generation, generation millennium. Uh, we must mention one product, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, one product that I remember is the chocolate in cocoa and Nesquik. Panda? Today, nothing, nothing or see or, or yes. Sorry. Oh, today, uh, Todavía está o mm, I'm not sure. I don't see in, in the supermarket. I don't see it really. Mm. What product? Uh, uh, Nesquik. Nesquik, yes, of the course. Chocolate. I still yes. buy Nesquik. I still buy Nes Nesquik. Is this more expensive? And you have to buy the can. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. And it doesn't taste, I don't know. I remember it stronger, you know, the taste was stronger when I was a kid. Other well, product is a- uh, Another cola product. Champagne. Cola champagne. Can... No, I'm in lugar, la tierra. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> that jingle was very sticky. Okay, good job. Keep it up. Yeah. No. no, we are not millions. No, <laughs> we are the transition. We are, 
between the generation X and the, the millennial. The transition, the, the transition the millennial is a, a year. <laughs> X, uh, the, yes. the generation X, yes, but is more millennial okay. than in comparison with the baby boomers. We are millennial. Okay. Yeah. I can call. <laughs> okay, if I am a millennial. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> it doesn't matter if I was, I was we born. Ooh. Talk, talk with, we, he doesn't know the millennials. They are. Yeah. 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 But there are the new generation. Okay. I prefer. I prefer cake eaters than cupcakes. No. No, yeah. You prefer cake eaters than cupcakes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> It's the same, yeah. Rosita. Yeah, it's the same, but millennials call cupcakes. <laughs> it's the same. It's the same. Yeah, I prefer a chocolate, chocolate cakeitos. <laughs> there, there's, it's just that cakeitos, they call them some different way nowadays. Guinos, no, how do they call them? Oh my God, and it's the same thing as alemanas, you know, the, the bread is kind oh, of... No, but the alemana is the other kind of the bread, but the cakeitos is the same, the cup. It's the large one, the, right? The, the, yeah. The no, large one? No. Yeah. No, the large that? one is the... Is no, the, the cupcake, the cake, the cupcake. Why do you say the 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 the, the bread large? The large it's bread, soft. little. It's mm -hmm. soft. It's soft, it's yeah. Soft. It's like eleven mm -hmm. cents each one, still it's in the no supermarket. Alemana. It's no alemana. Yes, I, no alemanas. I remember. I love it with milk. Oh my god. It's with milk. Ahogado, 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 ahogado. I don't get this spoon. My... Get this spoon. I have. <laughs> I, I have a, a lot, lot of lapsus. Lapsus. Lapsus momentus. Lapsus. 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 Oh my God, that's so funny when that happens to someone. I You're, I, hey. I can sleep today. <laughs> <laughs> you won't I'm be able to. I need to remember. Remembering all these things. Do you remember the toffees? Yes. Ah, yes, I yes, oh my God. I love oh God. Them. Diana, I love them. Right. Diana toffees. They don't, they're not the same. They are not the same anymore. No. Yeah, actually, I'm eating babies. I'm eating babies at this moment. You're eating babies? Yeah, I'm eating babies. Gemelitos. Ah, yes. Angelus. Yes. Gemelitos. Before gemelitos. Before gemelitos, yes. Gemelitos. Yes, it's true. La gomitas también. Yes, those, those were angelitos before they became babies, right? That was so, yes, oh my yes. God. <laughs> the chupavecitos too. I can't remember those. Now, let's see how old. Do you think I'm not old, but I remember los tistes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It was just flour, flour with sugar. Yeah. That's all. That's all. It was delicious. Yeah, it was delicious, but it was just flour with sugar. Yes. I can't believe it. I remember, I remember when when I was a kid, when when celebrate celebrate the how do you say Feria Internacional? I don't know, the Feria Internacional. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. They sell they sell uh, the ring box. Mm -hmm, the ring mm -hmm. box, yeah. Oh my God. You can still find them. My kids love those things. Yeah. 
Yeah, nowadays I enjoy it because, but when I was a kid, I only see the, the rimples. Because yeah, you couldn't buy them. Yeah, my father can buy them. I know. <laughs> so sad. But nowadays I buy it all that I want. <laughs> yeah, now I'm an adult. I yes. can buy whatever I want. <laughs> Un yeah. adulto independiente, con gustos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. my God, Rosalind, it's true. Yeah, okay. but I remember little because all my parties, my, mm -hmm. my birthday's parties, mm -hmm. was uh, uh, in all my birthday's party, we have a... You had a torta from me, though. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Man, it's just, it's delicious, yeah, it's still... They still, yeah. they still say, have that. How do you say turron, nougat? The, yeah, the turron? nougat. Yeah, the kind the of nougat. 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 You remember the nougats? Yeah. Oh, oh my mm. God. Let's stop yeah. talking about food. Oh my God. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Yeah, the nugget. Oh, God. Those were good times. Very good times. When I teach marketing on intermediate five or four, I can remember. Yeah. Um, I like to talk about that company because I feel curious. I feel very curious about one thing. When was the last time that you watched a Lido ad on TV? Right? No, teacher. On TV, never. I don't remember. I do remember. You don't remember La Galleta Rellena? Que era así. No. Yes. La no, Cremosa. TV. Yes. Right? TV. On TV. On TV. My God, maybe I I don't have it. <laughs> no, I can't remember. <laughs> you remember that? No. But my my point is, they stopped their their publicity, their ads on TV, long time ago. And there are just oh. like two or three branches in El Salvador now, but people still look for their products in the supermarkets. I mean. It's crazy. So how do they do that? They build reputation and they are a nostalgic product. That's it. Well, the publishing teacher is a, is a, on the TV is a Pedro Luntado. A P? Pedro Eluntado. Pedro Eluntado, what was that? Yes. Marina Mirasol. What? <laughs> Only you, Margarina, Margarina Mirasol. Yeah, Pedro Luntado. Wait a minute. It was a history. It was a history. About, it was a story? About a yeah, it yes. was a story, yeah. Animated commercial. Oh, oh my. my. <laughs> I love it. I, I was a kid. Movie. I was a kid. I was no, a little baby. You doesn't oh. burn. Oh. You know? <laughs> Yeah, many many years ago. <laughs> yes, yeah. many. We yeah. could be we could be talking about this for a long time. Now, do you see the difference? <laughs> you see the difference? The difference is that before we used to be let's say uh it was a contag contagious thing between your parents and you. Because I love foremost. I love foremost milk. You're going to yeah. eat foremost milk <laughs> and I missed it. <laughs> oh my god, the chocolatina was number... the best. The number of the bread is marquesote. The name of the bread. The name of the bread, no. It's, so it's, no. Called, it's called guiño or something like that. Yeah. Ana Selmi, quequito largo. The name of Yeah, the... something like that. I love it. <laughs> okay. Well, guys, <laughs> that's it for today. Um, I'm staying with someone who wants Pichel, to stay. Tell me hey. Pa pa Pamela, hey, what is that? <laughs> yeah, Pamela, Gabriela, like 
Hey, what, what is that? What are these guys talking about? Daniela, what? Y le dice, no, fuiste a clases de, de inglés. Montate viejito que hay. Aquí. A history class. It's a history class, Mon Salvador. Ok. Don't pay attention. Ok, guys. I'm staying. Who, who was with me? Roselena was with me last time, right? Ok. Uh -huh. Julia, would you like to stay 10 minutes? Yeah, sure. Awesome. Ok. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present. Good night. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Ana Selmi Chévez. Present. Thank you. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Not today because he has internet problems. Lord de Maria Carballo Ugarte, Gabriel Ignacio Lara, Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Present. Good night. Good night. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Caldames. Thank you. Julia Patricia Vázquez Santos. Present. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Good night. Good teacher. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Present. Good night, Pamela. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Present. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present teacher. Thank you. Susana Carolina and, perdón, um, Stephanie Elizabeth Ayala Pérez. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. She was here. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good night. Good night. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. She was here as well. And Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Hey, good night, guys. I'll see you tomorrow again at eight o'clock. Take care. Good night, buddy. Bye, bye. Good night. Tomorrow. Good see you tomorrow. Bye, bye. bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. I just can't believe it. Pedro Luntado. Oh my God! Why is that, teacher? It's a it's an ad from Margarina Mirasol. <laughs> was like what? Oh, but nobody's talking about the, the the date. You know what year did that air on on TV? That's crazy! Wow. What is what is a memory that you have as a chill as a kid? You know that. That you never forget about TV or well, um uh, I rem I remember I have this in, in my heart. <laughs> I I used to to go with to my yeah, I used to go with my father to Blackbuster <gasps> and we rent movies. I remember I watched uh, the first Harry Potter movie. And on the chairs? Yes. Yes. Wow. It was it was really nice. And I remember we went uh, to Blackbuster maybe every Saturday. We rent a movie or two movies and we watch uh, in in the weekend. <laughs> How many days could you keep the cassette like I think it was just a week. Just a week, right? Yes. Yes. Man. I never, I never, well, when I used to visit my cousin, rest in peace, we, I used to come here to San Salvador from Santana to visit them. And then he used to rent uh, video games, PlayStation mm -hmm. video games. I didn't like to play that much, but I, I used to enjoy the movies, you know, it was over yeah. there. He, it was like something that he used to do to make us feel happy with my brother. That was so nostalgic, you know, because he, he used to take care of us, our cousin. He was older than us. So yeah. renting movies, Blackbuster, wow.
were in Avernal or there were some, right? There weren't yes. like two or three stores. It was, it was one, it was a, 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 a little local here in Soyapango. Mm. <laughs> okay. Yes, and it was nice. It was very nice. I also remember, and I was uh, talking with the classmate. I remember a beverage. It, her, the name, the name was Gloopy. Gloopy, so or Gloopy. Yeah, Gloopy, like the you, cool street, the corners. I know. I remember that. It was it wasn't it Juppie? No. no. I don't remember. Ploppy, ploppy. Oh my god, I can't remember it. Yeah, I, I know. I used to love those things. Is yeah. I I like sweet things. But it was funny because you couldn't like drink the whole thing <laughs> from the side of the uh of, of from the side of the straw. You had to open the other side and put the straw on the other side. <laughs> yes. I also I also remember uh, that we used to drink fruitsies and when we finished the fruitsies we like push the bottle you used to crash <laughs> yeah smash I'm sorry smash the the bottle yeah. to do what uh, and we put it uh, um, on the wheel the, on the bicycle <laughs> on the bicycle wheel is true <laughs> to make a lot of noise oh my god those were good times those are very good times take care of your daughter i mean what's your plan what are you planning to do with her is like your expectations well, actually sometimes i'm a little bit afraid because right now uh, the things are very weird and i i was talking with my mom that the education is not the same and i think uh, we have as as parents we have to make an effort to teach them to teach the kids because uh, in in when, when i was a kid uh, my teachers and my professors they were uh, very restrict. different restrict yes and now they are more like uh soft yes light they don't want to get in trouble yeah yeah it's true that is totally true yeah. well so let's see what happens i mean by the time your girl goes to kinder four it will be 2026, I think, or something. Mm -hmm. So don't worry. I, I think I, I I look to the future very positively. Now, you know, things are changing and all that. So, and so Yapango is so huge. Oh my God. I, I was- huge and there are, there are a lot of people you can imagine the traffic in the morning. I do. I do. I used to work in Plaza Mundo for almost a year. I worked there. And, and but, but I never got any traffic because I used to get into the Plaza Mundo at about, let me see, 7 a.m. I used to start work at 7 and finish at 6 p.m. Yeah. So, but, but by the time I was coming back, I mean, the traffic was going there and vice versa. You know, in the morning it was coming to San Salvador and in the evening it was going to say, it was crazy. Yes. Yeah, it was crazy. I mean, going through Morningside and all that. Yeah, and, and, and now we are uh, celebrating. It's, it's our uh, Fiestas Patronales. Yeah, there's the municipalities. Um, yes holidays is the municipality's holidays really yes so there are more traffic <laughs> there is more traffic really yes yeah it's just that i was watching the news and i thought is there any any plan for this street 
because they're making a lot of plans for Santa Elena, for Periferico, like, so, but, but I haven't heard about Soyapango. Yes, actually, I think not. They don't have any plans. Uh, I was uh, talking about this with my, with my boss, that we are like, they forget. Uh, Forgotten. Yes. The forgotten city. <laughs> like yes, that. because our forgotten streets city. are so bad in a in a really bad state. Oh my god. Who who but is it Nuevas Ideas too? Sorry? Is it from Nuevas Ideas too, the same political party? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, municipalities are not doing very well as well here in, in Mexicanos. Anyways. Well, it's been my pleasure. Continue practicing a lot because you, you do, you can speak a lot. It's just a few words that you mispronounce, you know, it's just a little detail. Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Good night. Good Have some night. rest. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.